Hello guys, welcome everybody. Good to see you. Hello, Rufino. Hello, Sarah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Hope you are okay. Thank you so much for coming early. So let's get over the lesson, right? So remember about the things, the topics that we have been studying. Rodrigo, what do you remember about the previous class? What did you learn? Uh, I remember the, the verbs mm -hmm. in past and, and the other side about our that vacation. And what more? Yes, basically that, right? Or the verbs. <laughs> yes, that's it. Ah, okay. And the, the sound of the ED in the verbs. Yes, right. What are the three sounds that we have? Do you remember the three sounds? Yes, mm -hmm. we, we have the T, mm -hmm. D, and a, 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 a. ID, right? It sound. Okay, perfect, Rodrigo. Thank you so much for the information. So, guys, we're going to have a short quiz about the topic that we studied yesterday. It's going to be a simple quiz, right? So, can you please go to the following link and uh, please write your name? Just a second to share this quiz. Okay. Give me just a second, guys, and I'm going to share with you this. Okay, here it is. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm going to be sharing the link in the WhatsApp group, so please can you go there? and uh, write your name. Okay, if even I'm gonna share it here in the Zoom. So can you go there guys and uh, write your name so we can start to. Okay, it's going to be about the simple past, was, where, irregular and regular verbs. So let's see who are in the game. Oh, Claudia. Yes. Claudia, okay, thank you. Claudia. Okay, let's see. Or I see. Okay, Tatiana is here. Okay, thank you, Tatiana. I'm gonna be sharing this. So I see four. Okay. See? Okay, I'm gonna give you some time, right, for you to join the game. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Can you, re uh, can you repeat the, the, the indication, please? Oh, and yes. Password, my connection. Okay, can you go to the chat? It is there is a link. So where okay. did you go to that link and write your name? We're gonna have a short quiz about the simple past. Okay, thank you. Okay. So let's see. So guys, let's go there. I have only six, seven, Rufino, it's there, Jenny too. Okay, some more are missing. Okay, Carla, okay, Carla. Okay, let's see. What about you? Um, let's see, Luis, what about you, Luis? Okay, here we have more, right? Okay, Maria, okay, hay un enlace en el chat. Vayamos a ese enlace y escribamos su nombre. Vamos a hacer un pequeño quiz. Okay, so let's go there. 
y solo vamos a tener un pequeño quiz about the topics right that we have been studying. Entonces, si alguien más se va a incorporar, or can I start, guys? Okay, perfect. What about you, Stella? Oh, no, Stella, there you are. Let's see, Claudia, you are there. Oh, yes, there you are. Emily, are you there, Emily, in the game? No yet. ¿A dónde me tengo que ir? Ah, hay un enlace en el chat box. Ahí tenemos que escribir el nombre. Ok. So, Patricia, Patricia. Sí. So, I'm going to start, guys, with the game. So, let's start. It's going to be a short quiz. Ok, let's go. Congratulations, guys. Okay. Thank you. Okay, congratulations. Okay, no worries, no worries. It's sort of a practice, okay? So for you to practice, right? The simple past that it is very essential. Okay, guys, thank you so much for participating. Let's go back to the lesson. And uh, remember, we have pending these questions, right? Ayer se me quedaron algunos without participating. So we're going to finish that part. No sé si hay volunteers for that activity. No sé si hay volunteers. 
de los que me quedaron pendientes yesterday. Is there somebody who wants to present this information? Volunteers? Hello, can you hear Rodrigo? I'm sorry, Rodrigo. Yes, do you want? Yes, I want. Okay, go ahead, please. Uh, my information is about Maritza and Carlo Carpio. I don't know. So, about Marisa, in the her last vacation, she was raised in, in her house and the weather was like a normal day, very hot. And she would like to visit her family and go to the beach in her next vacation. And about Carlos was playing soccer and he would like to travel to USA in his next vacation. Okay, USA, it sounds a great place, right? Okay, uh, somebody else who wants to share this information, Alin Max? Remember, this is the time for you to practice speaking, right? Uh, what it is important is that you transmit your message. So is there a volunteer? No volunteers, guys? No? Okay, so I'm going to encourage you to participate. Lo motivo es que participemos, right? Um, no sé cuánto tiempo you practice English during the day, but this is a good uh, place for you to practice. So let's go. Okay, Stella, thank you. Go ahead, Stella. Ahí en la de la práctica me tocó. Me tocó. Pero nos confundimos y, en, y respondimos la resp las preguntas uh -huh. conforme a nuestra, a nuestra información, digamos. Uh -huh. Ella la de ella y yo mi información. Uh -huh. Por eso es que quizás no hemos participado. Ok, if you want to share your information, you can do it. Si la podemos compartir, you can do it, Sela. Ok. Uh -huh. La primera pregunta. Mm -hmm. I was in the last vacation in San Salvador with my grandmother. Segunda, mm -hmm. I was relaxed. I enjoyed with my friends. Mm -hmm. Tercera, I was with my grandmother, friends, and, mm -hmm. and boyfriends. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cuarta, I watch watch TV uh -huh. and play it with my friends. Cuarta, no, 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 dos, dos, tres, la cinco. Uh -huh. Where was la última? Uh -huh. I would like to know new places. You would like to know more places, okay? Perfect, Sarah, great right job. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, somebody else who wants to share, Alguien Max, who wants to share the information? No, okay. So, vamos a revisar algunas oraciones, right? Que podemos siempre mejorarlas. Ayer escuché que alguien decía, eh, she wants, for example, she wants you. Wanted to visit, digamos, eh, your house, your house. En vez de decir, estamos hablando de ella, vamos a decir, no nos olvidemos de here, right? Here house. Podémonos que si es para varón, vamos a utilizar his. Eso, this is very important, guys. Ok, recordémonos de eso, porque estamos confundiendo his y estamos utilizando your, right? And the miss uh, possession. So take care with this. También tengamos cuidado con los sonidos. Ayer vimos cuando utilizar los diferentes sonidos, how to pronounce them. Les compartí un video, así que you just have to practice, right? Okay, guys, basically that. And then let's see what is the lesson that we have for today. Okay, in today's lesson, they see what's on review. We're going to have vocabulary. And also we're going to have the grammar topic for today and some practices. So, so we're gonna have this information. Okay, Gabriela.
Can you tell me, we have here the word, tenemos aquí la palabra. So I want you to tell me the definition, right, or what you can do in that place. Gabriela, can you help me with number one? Okay. A clothing store. Mm -hmm. What can be the definition? What can I say the definition? What was the definition of the, of the clothing? Maybe letter F, find yeah. new fashion. Okay, find, very good, find new fashions. Okay, excellent, Gabriela. Okay, thank you. So can you help me, Rufino, number two? What can we find or what is a groceries? Grocery store. Uh, mm -hmm. What can we do? Uh, I ate. Hey, tell me please, can you read it? A uh, grocery store. Mm -hmm. um, um, mm -hmm. Okay, can you read the definition, please? Podemos leer? Get, okay, thank you. Get a careful and mm -hmm. a small item for the home. Okay, perfect, right, the grocery store, uh, where we can find small items, right? Okay, what can we do in the hair salon? Uh, Patricia, can you help me? A hair salon, mm -hmm. get a haircut, let's see, let's see. Letter C, get a haircut, right? Do you go to the hair salon, uh, Patricia? Usted va al hair salon? Do you go? Uh, yes. Yes, right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good, right? We have to be pretty all the time. <laughs> hey, thank you, Patricia. What about landmark? What is that? Can you help me, Luis? What is a landmark? What can we find there? Landmark. Mm -hmm. I think it's a. Uh... The G. Yes, right. Yes, right. When you wash and dry your clothes. Ahora podemos encontrar muchas landmarks here. Okay, thank you. And Luis, es la lavandería, right? The landmark. Okay, can you help me with the next one, number five? Let's see, Rodrigo, can you help me with number five, please? Yes, yeah. it's a place where to buy newspaper and magazines. Letter D. Letter D, right? El kiosk, as we say, el kiosk, el periódico, el puesto de periódicos, right? A news stand where you buy newspapers and magazines. Okay, thank you. What about the stadium, Fernando? What can be the meaning for a stadium? Um, uh, let me see. See a game or a concert? Yes, right. We can see. It. Do you go to the stadium, Fernando? Yeah. Um. um not. <laughs> um, not too much, <laughs> or no? Not too much. No, not too much. Not too much. Do you don't like to watch uh, sports, for example? Do you like to watch sports? Yes, of okay. course. Okay, but in TV, right? Yes. Yes, <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, Fernando. Okay, and the last one. Can you help me with the last one, Tatiana? Letter number seven, please. The letter B. Yes, right, letter B. You can connect to the internet. Exactly, you can connect with the internet, right? That's right. Thank you. So we have, you can connect to the internet. Okay, we have some other words. We have the coffee shop. Do you go to a coffee shop, uh, Patricia? Do you like to go to a coffee shop? Hello? Okay. What a, hello? Hello, Patricia. Do you like to go to a coffee shop? Like a Starbucks? 
Eh, or Bam Bam or Tiffany, yes? Mm, not much. Not too much. You, not you too don't much. drink coffee? Yes, in my house. In your house, <laughs> yes. Okay, for sure. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Jenny? Um, what about the drugstore, right? The pharmacies. Did you go to a drugstore? Yes, I go to the drugstore. How often do you go to the drugstore? Mm. Sometimes. Sometimes, okay, that's good. And sometimes we go to the drugstore. What about the gas station, Emily? Uh, how often do you go to a gas station? Hello? Okay. So what about you, Maria and Luz Nieto? Do you go to a gas station? Or how often do you go to a gas station? Mm -hmm. Maria, ¿qué tan seguido? How often do you go to a gas station? Um, every day. Every day, okay. Every day? Every, every day. And the gas is so expensive now, right? Every day. Okay, thank you, Maria. So then we have the library, right, where you can find books and the post office for letters. So let's go. I don't know if you have questions about the words. Okay, so let's move on with the topic that we have for today. That it is there is, there are, one, any, and some. Cuando vamos a utilizar, for example, there is, cuando vamos a utilizar, there are, y cuando vamos a utilizar one, any, or some. Okay, that is going to be the topic. Okay. Uh, this is the verb, a verbo a ver, right? There is and there are. Okay, can you help me with the first part to read? Uh, Cristela, please, can you help me to read? Hello? Okay. Okay, thank you, Cristela. Is there a laundromat near here? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Mm -hmm. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, tenemos entonces the questions, right? Recordemos que en las preguntas siempre va a ir el verbo to be al principio. For example, is there, is there a landmark near here? Eh, y la, la respuesta está corta, right? Yes, there is or no, there isn't. Tenemos la respuesta larga. There is one across from the shopping center. Tenemos las prepositions, las que ya hemos estudiado en los módulos anteriores. And we have there is. Okay, let's go with are there. Can you help me, Norma? Are there. Oh, Jenny. Yes, Jenny. Okay. Are there any grocery store around here? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are. There are some nice store on Pine Street. Mm -hmm. No, there aren't, but there are some on Third Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Okay, thank you so much. What is the regla? What is the rule, guys? And this is something that you will see all the time. Vamos a utilizar any siempre y cuando tengamos una oración negativa. That is the rule. Any with negatives. Y también cuando tengamos preguntas. Eso va a ser el dos, los dos usos del any. A diferencia del son, significa alguno o algo que lo vamos a utilizar en oraciones afirmativas. Eh, si lo queremos traducir, eh, dijéramos, ¿hay alguna grocery store cerca de acá? ¿Hay alguna tienda cerca de acá? Sí, sí hay algunas. El, el significado de son. Ok, pero son, repito, es para oraciones afirmativas. Ok, esa es the usage. Tenemos acá positive statement, el son, negative statement, any. No hay ninguna, no hay ningún, right? 
Este va a ser the meaning. Ok, no sé si hay dudas o questions about uh, some, any, or there is, there are. Recordemos que is there es para una, un objeto, right? un lugar. And are there es para varios lugares, more than one. Ok, I may you have questions. Me, only that, uh, uh, cuando usamos there are any, es en ningún. There are, there aren't any. Es there como, aren't any. No hay nada, no hay nada alrededor de acá. Uh -huh. Ok. O there is and no hay nada, right? Dependiendo de lo que estamos hablando. Ok. Ok, so guys, let's continue. And uh, we're going to have some practices, right? To identify there is and there are. Ok, we're going to use there is in this case, there isn't or there aren't. Can you have a good example? Uh, let's see, Maria Veronica. Podemos leer? Can you read letter A, Maria? Okay. There are 12 stars on the Europe, no sé cómo se dice. Europe, uh -huh. European. European. Flag. Flag, okay, thank you, Maria. Okay, what about a letter B? ¿Cuál podemos utilizar en letter B, guys? No, no, there ain't. Hmm? No, there, there aren't. aren't. There aren't. aren't. There aren't. Analicemos la palabra que tenemos después de any. Tenemos la palabra gravity. Es una there palabra sí. Exactly right. Que la palabra que tenemos es singular, exactly, por fin. Sería entonces. Ah, ok. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't. ¿Y por qué estamos utilizando negativa? Because we have. Any, any es para negativo. Yes. Any. Yes. Negativo. Okay, what about letter C? Tenemos a wrong in every continent of the world. ¿Qué podemos utilizar? What can we use? There is. Exactly right. There is. ¿Por qué? Why? ¿Por qué tenemos, estamos utilizando there is, no there are, there aren't? Because it is singular. It's singular. Mm -hmm. We have a wrong, right? What about letter D? We have any desert. There aren't. Yes. Perfect. Tenemos entonces there aren't. Why there aren't, guys? That there isn't, for example. Plural. Yes, we have plurals that it is deserts. Negative. And negative, right? Tenemos any que me indica it's a negative. So what about letter E? Over 40,000 characters in Chinese writing. So imagine this must be true, right? So what can be the word missing, the missing word? There, there are. There are, yes. There are. So what about letter F? We have in Las Vegas casinos, any clocks? There are. There aren't. There aren't. There aren't. Yes. There, aren't. there aren't. Why are we using there aren't? That's in plural. It is in plural and I have... And I have, yes, a negative. And he's telling me any that it is a negative word. What about letter G? In over 90% of plane crashes, what can there, be? Hmm? There is. There, right. there is. There is a survivor. Yeah. What about letter H? In an average bar of chocolate, what can be the word? There are. There are, right? There, there are. are. 
There are, there are, let's see, eight insects legs. Let, let's see if that is true, right? Eight insects. Why? That is the sentence, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it, it is just information. Okay, I don't know if you have questions, guys. As you say to us. Okay. So let's continue. And if you want, I can take a screenshot. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yo tengo una duda. Yes. <clears throat> este, bye. Se lo voy a decir en español. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Este, vaya, usted dijo que vamos a utilizar este, there, there is, mm -hmm. there is para, para objetos. Bueno. Para un objeto. Ah. Mm -hmm. Para un objeto. Y el there are cuando tengamos más de un objeto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Va. Ah, pues sí, me había confundido. Ok, no Gracias. problem, no problem. Ok, so, uh, somebody else, guys? No, ok. I'm going to take a screenshot for you to have this exercise, right? Ok, so we're going to have this practice, vamos a tener this practice, where you are going to listen a conversation. And I want you to listen very carefully because they are going to give you some instructions for you to find the places. Vamos a encontrar, I want you to tell me the location, right? The location of these places. Okay, so let's listen and you are going to tell me later the answer. Listen to hotel guests ask about places to visit. Complete the chart. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. We need some directions. Sure. What are you looking for? Well, first of all, we're looking for the Hard Rock Cafe. How far is it from here? Oh, it's just a few minutes from here, right across from the National Bank. The National Bank on Park Avenue? Yes, that's the one. Is the Hard Rock Cafe a nice place? Well, I think so. The food is good, and there are some interesting things to look at in the restaurant, like one of Elvis's cars. Great. And where is the Science Museum? Well, that's near City Hall. Near City Hall, okay. I know where that is. And what's the museum like? Actually, it's not very good. It's small, and there isn't a lot to see there. It's really for young kids. Oh, then maybe we won't go there. Hmm. One last question. Is there an aquarium in the city? Yes, there's a very good one. It's only about six blocks from here. It's in the park, next to the train station. Oh, next to the train station. Yes, definitely visit the aquarium. Great, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Have a good day. Okay, let's listen one more time and then you will do the answers. Remember to identify whether they are interested or not. Listen to hotel guests ask about places to visit. Complete the chart. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. We need some directions. Sure. What are you looking for? Well, first of all, we're looking for the Hard Rock Cafe. How far is it from here? Oh, it's just a few minutes from here, right across from the National Bank. The National Bank on Park Avenue? Yes, that's the one. Is the Hard Rock Cafe a nice place? Well, I think so. The food is good, and there are some interesting things to look at in the restaurant, like one of Elvis's cars. Great. And where is the Science Museum? Well, that's near City Hall. Near City Hall, okay. I know where that is. And what's the museum like? Actually, it's not very good. It's small, and there isn't a lot to see there. It's really for young kids. Oh. Then maybe we won't go there. Hmm. One last question. Is there an aquarium in the city? Yes, there's a very good one. It's only about six blocks from here. It's in the park next to the train station. Oh, next to the train station. Yes, definitely visit the aquarium. Great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Have a good day. 
Okay, guys, let's try to identify the directions, right? So where is the Hard Rock Cafe? Where is that? What is the... Mm -hmm. Across from the okay. National Park. Yes, exactly right. It is across from the National, from the national Park, right? Okay, what about, is, are they interesting? What do you think, are they interesting? Are they interesting for the Hard Rock Cafe? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes they yes. are. What about the Science Museum? Where is it? Where is it located? It's near, it's near mm -hmm. City Hall. Okay, it's near to the city hall. The city hall, yes. And uh, it, are they interesting or not, guys? No. No, no right, they are. Why are, are they interesting? The place is small. The place is small, yes, right. And it is mainly for kids. What about the aquarium? Where is, where is it located? It is next to the, train, next station. To the train station. Yes, next to? The train station. Okay, are they interesting? Yes, I'm sorry, Fernando. Yes. No, it's in the yes. park. No. And it's in the park. This is the. It's in the park and next to the train station. Oh, it's in the park. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you. It's. Okay, it's. In the park next to the next the train station okay and they are interesting right okay so i mm -hmm. want you to oh are they interesting i said i you know they're yes yes they are so um let tell me you guys what do you have around your house cerca de su casa what is something that you can tell us about your neighborhood? For example, in my neighborhood, in my neighborhood, in my neighborhood, there is, let's say, a small park, a small park next to the bus stop. What about you, Gabriela? What is something that it is in your neighborhood? In my neighborhood, there is a, a hospital. Mm -hmm. There is a hospital next to your house or far from your house? Near. Near your house, okay? There is a hospital, okay? Thank you, Gabriela. What about uh, you, Claudia? What can you tell us about your neighborhood? What places can we find there? Mm, in my neighborhood is near gas station. Okay, there is a gas station. Mm -hmm. And on Main Street. Oh, Main Street, okay. There is um, a supermarket. And there is a supermarket. Okay, thank you, Claudia. What about you, Carla? What can you tell us about your neighborhood? My na neighborhood mm -hmm. is near a school. Okay, it is near. Mm -hmm. In church. In church, okay, very good. Okay, thank you, guys. Recordemos que podemos utilizar también there is or there are, for example, in my eh, colonia hay un parque pequeño, in my colonia hay un hospital. In the case que digamos que sea plural, there are some hospitals, right? Algunos hospitales. In the case que no haya nada, there, there isn't any. There isn't there isn't any, no hay nada, right? no hay ninguno. Okay, so do you have questions about uh, this topic? 
guys? No? Okay. So we're going to practice, right? That is the point that you practice. Page okay, and this is going to be your task for today. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a utilizar this picture, right? So lo que vamos a hacer is that you are going to ask your partner five questions. Vamos a preguntar to your partner five questions. Por ejemplo, imaginémonos que yo estoy trabajando con Carla. Yo le voy a hacer a Carla cinco preguntas acerca de este, de esta picture. Por ejemplo, eh, yo le digo a Carla, Carla, is there any, pero tengo que utilizar any or some, any post office near here? Near here, yeah, me va a responder, oh no, there, oh yes, right, there is a post office. Yes, there is a post office. Office, ¿a dónde está? Where is it? Next to, right? Next to Jim's, Jim's Gym. Ok, entonces podemos hacer eh, las cinco questions. Tratemos que both persons participate. Ya sea que se sí, sure. haga tres preguntas. Yes. Uh, I have uh, a question. Tell me. Uh, when we... When we make a, a question, um, we can use any, in, even if it is it's not a, a negative, um, a, a negative uh, oración. <laughs> Sentence, okay. Okay. Sentence. <laughs> Remember that the two ways we can use any is for questions and negatives. Even though, for okay. example, it is not a negative answer. Oh, okay. Okay, even though. Yeah, yeah, of mm -hmm. course. Okay. Uh, okay. So we can we can use both, uh, some and any in, in the question. Mm, so, no, no, no. Some, no. We can, some we can use it only, some is only for affirmative. Okay. Affirmative responses, right? Affirmative okay. sentences, only for okay. that. In okay. any negative question. Okay, thank you. Okay, my pleasure. So guys, so I'm gonna give you, let's see, like uh, until 8.45, hasta las 8.45, 8.45. Espero este, esta vez todos puedan participar. Uh, remember, as, as I will say, this is, maybe this is the only time for you to practice English. So do it. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes. We are here to, um, help, right, to improve. Estamos aquí para mejorar, right, our English. And so that is basically uh, one from you. Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms and uh, prepare your conversation, right? And we can use some when we are offering. If it is a question, remember that it is only any, but if it is some, no entendí muy bien la pregunta, Rodrigo. Maybe you can explain it. Yeah, I remember in the last module, when the teacher say que podemos usar son cuando estamos ofreciendo algo. If it is affirmative. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. If it is affirmative sentences, for sure, right? For example, would you like some milk? Would you like some, some milk? milk. Yes, it can be, it can be. Let me just verify that because as far as I remember, some is for affirmative sentence, but let me, let me confirm that information. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's go to the breakout rooms, guys, and uh, let's refer the conversation, right?
Hello, uh, Patricia, Verónica. Hello, Alba. Okay, Jose. Oh my goodness. It is, what time is it? Okay, so let's see Jose Carpio. Uh, I'm gonna try to send you. What happened, Jose? Okay, okay, let's try um, Jose. Room four, okay, let's, let's try Jose. Alba, what happened, Alba? Uh -huh. Patricia? Hello, Patricia. Hello. Okay, let's try to uh, join the group. Uh, Alba, Jose, and Patricia, please. Okay, let's see. Vamos a ver, vamos a intentar, Patricia. Okay, let's try, uh, Patricia, please. And Jose. Necesito que veamos eh, the box. Veamos. Let's try and Jose and Alba. Tienen que darle click a la sección donde dice unirse. Ok. Hello, teacher. Oh my goodness, Maria. Hello, teacher. Me quedé solito otra vez. Es que me dio problema para ingresar y por eso me tardé y creo que por eso me quedé solita. No, no, se, no se preocupe, don Gor. Ya le voy a mandar ahí un ángel que me ayude. Ok. <risa> Veamos, aquí está. Okay. La voy a mover a usted para la sala 2 porque voy a trabajar con Rodrigo. Ok, ok. Thanks. Ahí está.
I hope this meeting is being recorded. Is there somebody who wants to present first? Is there a group who wants to present information? Volunteers? No? Yo le estoy diciendo, pero no le estoy diciendo. Yes? Y yo le estoy diciendo, pero se me olvidó escribirla. Ok, ok. Do you want to be the first one, Estela? ¿Quieres ser la primera? Do you want to be the first one? Me? No, ok, démosle. <risa> ok, <risa> que me olvidé es escribirla. Actitud, ¿no? Esa es la actitud, ¿verdad? Ok. Pero démosle. Eh, la pregunta primera que le hice a, a Paola es, mm -hmm. ¿Is there a hotel here? Eh, ella me ha respondido, yes, there is a street. O creo que así lo noté. O así me acuerdo. Uh -huh. Y. Y eso ahorita solo está tengo. Escrita, pero que me preguntó también si había. Ha preguntado si había una tienda cerca. Uh -huh. Exacto. Hey, thank you. Okay, and who was your partner? Estela, ¿quién era su partner? Me. <laughs> okay, Paola. ¿Algo más que hablar? Something else to add, uh, Paola? Okay, um, también uh, me preguntaron uh, sobre el hotel. Uh, is there a hotel in, uh, around here? Uh -huh. And yo respondí. Uh, que jazz y is the there is uh -huh. um, star place hotel y um, on el elf street uh -huh. on main on elf street okay very good okay uh, somebody else who wants to share the information alguien más wants to share the information volunteers okay Jenny thank you Jenny Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the question was, um, is there any gas station near here? Yes, there is a gas station behind the National Bank on Main Street. Mm -hmm. uh, the, mm -hmm. next the next question, mm -hmm. is there any hotel near here? Yes. There are some on the Elm Street. Uh, we have only two questions. <laughs> two questions, okay? They, they, they were pretty good. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, another, alguien más, somebody else? Me, teacher. Me, okay, go ahead, Maria, please. Um, uh, is there some alternative here? Yes, there is, next to coffee station. Um, number two, is there any post gas station near here? Yes, there is next to the public library. And number three, is there any bank near here? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is on the first avenue. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, thank you, Maria. Alguien más? Somebody else, guys? No volunteers? No? Okay, just uh, let's check some of the sentences, right? Vamos a ver algunas oraciones. Uh, for example, when you say there is, there is next to, next to the gas station, digamos, next to the gas gas station. Ok. No podemos dejar la oración así porque nos hace falta algo, right? Entonces, we can add there is one. Ok. Hay uno a la par de gas station. Entonces, cuando tengamos oraciones así, no nos olvidemos de agregar one en caso que sea there is. Porque se escucharía incompleta la oración. Eh, si le quito el one, diría hay a la par de la gas station. Y necesitamos ese complemento, el one. Ok. So, uh, um, I don't know if you have questions, guys, about the sentences. 
Or is there somebody who wants to share the sentences? I still have some time for um, listening to some of your questions. No? Okay, so I'm gonna choose some of you. So let's see, Alejandra, Paola, and Stella. Can you share your questions? Okay. Hey, yes. Okay, go ahead. Um, the question is there a public library around here? Mm -hmm. Um yes, there is. There is one uh public library next to the gas station. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, another uh, Alejandra, do you have another? Yes, I have two questions. Okay. Is, is there a game on the first avenue? Mm -hmm. Oh, there is in the gym is on the main street. Mm -hmm. Second one, are there some grocery stores on the Pine Street? Yes, there are. No, wait. Yes, there are some on the Pine Street. There are some grocery stores on the Pine Street. Okay, yes, it, it was good, right? Okay, excellent. Okay, guys, I don't know if somebody else wants to share the information. If not, I will say goodbye to you guys. No questions? Okay, guys. Solo recordarles que eh, estamos viendo lo de las evaluaciones. Entonces, sí les pediría que por lo menos esperemos el tiempo que nos han dado para completar las evaluaciones, right? Uh, veo que en el grupo están publicando bastante eso, así que tengámoslo en cuenta cuando completemos los quizzes, right? De respetar las fechas que nos han dado. Okay, guys, if there are no more questions, I will say goodbye, have a good night, and see you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. See you Monday. Monday. No, Monday? Monday. Oh, Monday. 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 Thank you, Rufino. Bye. Just have a right? Thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. See you. Bye-bye.